Hey, honey? Yeah, what's up? Everybody and welcome to Retro. Uh, wrong show. I'm set up for retro reviews, but this is a Friday featurette. And I'm your boy Brace Defend, and I'm going to show you 10 gift ideas for the nerd, the gamer in your life. That it's really hard to shop for gamers because you don't want to go out and buy them a model kit and have it be something they've already got too many copies of, or for an army they don't even use. You don't want to go out and buy them, you know, sealed packs because, you know, that's, you just, you just, just buying them lotto tickets at that point sometimes. And it could be the whole thing of like, you're buying the wrong pack or you buy individual cards. It's really hard to buy them the actual game tools they need unless they've actually gone and given you like a shopping Christmas list. And if you got that, then you don't need this video. But if you've got no clue what to buy the gamer in your life, I got 10 gifts for you right here, easy to pick from. First up, water bottle. Um, bonus points if it's got the franchise game that they love on it. Uh, this is a uh, Mandalorian and Grogu water bottle I got from my lovely wife. I like to take this with me to the gaming stores whenever I can. Stay hydrated. Uh, another simple thing for uh, the war gamer in your life, the person who's putting together the minis, you might think, oh, I'll get them paints, but you never know. You might be getting the wrong shade of paint. It might be a paint that they hardly ever use. It might be a paint they've already got tons of paints, ugh, tons of pots or dropper bottles of. But the one paint every gamer goes through like crazy, and it could always use a fresh, brand new bottle sitting on the shelf is some black wash. Uh, this is Vallejo Game Wash. It is one of the cheapest washes, but also one of the best washes on the market. You get this whole jug for like the price of like the two small little games workshop bottles. Um, just a simple black wash, put over your minis, make them look all nice and grungy. Totally, get them if they're putting together minis, get them some black wash. They will thank you. Which leads me over to my next section for miniature gamers: hobby toolkit. Um, before I got this, I had a few hobby tools and didn't realize how much I needed the other stuff that's in here. I uh, had a few files. This comes with files. It comes with sanding blocks. It comes with a, a pen vise for drilling out your uh, barrels of your guns, which I never do. It has a small Dremel inside of it. Helps get away, help uh, work on some big plastic pieces. Uh, Sanding stick, sanding box, uh, screw cutter, and I believe there's also a hobby knife in here. There's tons of tools you need for putting together minis, all in one box. Even if uh, your gamer already has a few of these tools, having some extra ones on hand, ones that they can easily just grab, uh, or replacements for some stuff that breaks, it's a good investment, a good gift, especially if they're just starting out. A little bit more advanced hobby tool, Museum Wax. Uh, Ninjon, uh, his channel got me introduced to this as one of the hobby tools that's not meant for hobbyists. This stuff is designed for, it's a wax that you use for putting up posters and framing uh, art prints. But this is the best stuff I've found for actually getting your minis to be able to stick down onto your painting handles so you can actually get them primed and actually work on them without them falling off. Double sided tape. Might not work all that well. The blue tack, poster tack, that stuff, I've had so many minis fall off because the blue tack's been sitting there for a while. This stuff, a little glob of wax, you put it on your painting handle, a little dab on top, put your paint, put your mini on that, press it down in, and it, it's not coming off, it sticks perfect. Definitely, if they've got painting handles, they need some museum wax. 
Next up, this is actually a two for gift that I'm holding in my hands. The first one is, of course, the paintbrushes. Um, I like to buy a mixture of the paintbrushes I get right at the gaming store, as well as uh, the liner brushes from Walmart and other small paintbrushes. Just getting, you know, sometimes the tips fray, uh, you, the brushes wear out, and you're like, oh, if I just had a, a fresh, brand new brush to be able to do these little bit of details I need to do, it totally helps out. So don't think that you're ha you're aiding the horde of painting brushes, uh, but getting some new brushes for them to use, definitely a help. Like I said, the liner brush kits with the small triple uh, zero or five zero or ten zeros, those ones are perfectly the best for doing the fine detail work. Uh, get those at Walmart, Michaels, anywhere so you can buy painting supplies. And the second gift that's here, I'll leave the paintbrushes in, is a coffee mug. Uh, it is a perfect paintbrush storage system. Keeps your brushes pointing upwards so they're not pressing down into anything. Keeps them from rolling around the desk and getting knocked off by the cats. Uh, also, you can just grab it by the handle, pick it up, move it, put it up on your shelf, bring it down onto the painting table. It's perfect. Plus, also holds coffee. So if you, uh, need to have a nice little drink while you're sitting there. Just a little caffeine levels up for a long painting session. It's awesome. Bonus points, you can easily find a personalized coffee mug that fits their fandom or, uh, you know, some motivational message for painting on there. Totally awesome. Uh, again, this painting cup with, uh, well, this coffee cup with Boba Fett and Han Solo. Another gift for my lovely wife. So I figured I would put it into service as my paintbrush holder so it doesn't get chipped, damaged, or stained. It stays in some good condition for many years to come. All right, moving over to your, well, a bridge gap for the miniature wargamer and the D&D &D, uh, nerd in your life. A good journal. Being able to keep your campaign notes uh, or even writing up notes for as the DM for sessions, designing your own monsters, Keeping all of that stuff in one good location, something that's nice and small, easy to fit in a backpack, easy just to carry carry with you while you're going throughout your day. Nice small journal, good sturdy one, really helps out. For miniature war painters, while you're painting, a lot of us like to keep notes of the painting scheme, the steps that we're doing. Having that in a journal, you can easily just go find the book, pull it out, flip through the page, go, oh yeah, that's how I painted that mini. Really good to have on hand. Of course, for war gamers and D and D players, dice. Dice are always welcome. Uh, for war games, a lot of those use the six-sided dice. Uh, for D and D, they use the polyhedral dice, like I've got here in my hand. Uh, this set actually was a gift from my buddy Toe. Uh, one of the last times we played D and D together, he got me this set because the time before that, uh, I commented on how cool his rainbow dice were, and he's just like, uh, it's at Bull Moose. I'm like, I never get down to Southern Maine to get to one of those, so he uh, surprised me the next time he came out with a fresh set of dice, and these are the dice I've been using for my monthly D&D &D game with uh, my buddy Josh Sennett, I've been playing over uh, Facebook video with him and his friends from Maine, so some dice. Be able to be like, it's a cool story. I got these dice from a friend, they look pretty, if you think they're pretty, your friend's probably going to think they're cool too, so definitely find some dice to say, needs need to be home with my friend. Pick them up. They'll always be thankful for more dice. Alright, moving over to the card gamer. I picked up two things out of my storage collection that I've been having to pick up because I'm getting back into the Star Wars CCG and uh, didn't actually have these stuff on hand for it. Deck boxes. Uh, these are just some plain Ultra Pro clips deck boxes hold about 100 cards sleeved perfect for two star wars decks um, or any other game uh, commander plays 100 card decks so these are designed to be used with like 100 card sleeves with both the regular sleeves and the insert sleeves double sleeves so they'll fit a good amount of cards uh, you can get deck boxes also personalized just like you can be well not personalized but you can like with artwork and stuff on it. Uh, so if you got a friend that's really into dragons, you can find a deck box with dragons on it. 
or any other artwork that you think they that you think they think will look cool, you can get them cool, customized. I just got these ones as plain because I'm like, eh, I just need some plain ones. Um, but yeah, they also hold. These also make great for storing miniature bits. Uh, you can easily label them and go, okay, this is where I've got all my Space Marine stuff. It's just seeing this little cube up on a shelf, pull it out. So there's dual purposes for the deck boxes. Uh, lastly, the last gift I would recommend if you have no idea what to get your gamer friend, they're a card player. You definitely want to get them one of these four row card binders. Uh, I've been picking these up so I can get my Star Wars CCG Master Set organized. Uh, I like these because they've got the slide from the side, so the card sleeve, you're going to have less chance of damaging them while you're getting them into the binder. Um, <clears throat> it fits, like, there's 20 pages. Each one holds 12 cards because they're double-sided. You can easily fit over 400 cards in a binder like this. Um, would not recommending putting more than like four copies of a card in a cheap penny sleeve inside of these binders because they do uh, have very limited space on how many cards you can fit into the pages. So, but they're a lot more resilient than the pages you put in a three in binder. Plus, it's got this, they've got these nice elastic straps to hold everything nice and tight and closed. So, you got a card gamer who needs to get organized. I would definitely recommend grabbing some four row binders. Uh, the three row binders are just as good, the side loaders, and those ones also have uh, been around for a lot longer, so they're more likely to have some cool artwork on them. Uh, just find out what they're into, what they like, find a binder with it, give it as a gift, and you're not running into the problem of buying something they already have, something they don't need, because every bit of this stuff is useful. Everybody needs a water cup, everybody needs dice, everybody needs binders and storage solutions, painting tools, and stuff for their hobby. So, yeah, that's my 10 easy gifts for the gamer in your life, and that's all I have to say. Peace. Hey, everybody. Thanks for staying till the end of the episode. Uh, remember to like, share, subscribe. Follow us on Facebook at Board Barista Productions. And if you want to support us, Patreon link at the bottom.